So, are you hungry for more Ionic? Let's start working on the menu and the dish details. We'll learn about Ionic lists and how we can make use of Ionic lists to construct our menu. We'll also learn about tabs and how we can make use of tabs in Ionic. To work on menu, let's open up the menu.html file that we already had from the previous exercises. We had fixed up a little bit in the menu.html file, but that is not sufficient enough to display the menu. First and foremost, we need to set up the menu controller and set up our app.js to make use of the menu controller. So let's do that first. Let's go to menu controller and then dish detail controller. We'll fix those two things up. Then we'll go over to app.js and fix up app.js. Then we will come to uh, fix up the templates, the menu.html and the dish detail.html. The first thing that we will do is in the menu controller, we'll inject the base URL because we need the base URL in order to access the various images that we use for our dishes. And then after this, we will create the variable on the scope. That's the first thing that we need to do in the menu controller. The rest of the menu controller will work just as before. There, there doesn't need to be any further changes to be made here. Same thing with the dish detail controller. So we'll walk down to the dish detail controller and also introduce base URL here. We'll inject the base URL here. And then on the scope, will inject base URL. That's it. So the controllers are all now fixed. And now we'll move on to app.js to include these controllers within the specific states there. Moving to app.js. For the app menu state, let's introduce the menu controller. For the app dish detail state, Let's introduce the dish details controller. It was the dish details or dish detail. Let me let me cross check. Sometimes even a single letter extra or a single missing letter causes endless headache for uh, when you're writing code. Oh, that it is dish detail controller. So uh, see how you can easily fall into the trap of making mistakes. One of the reasons why I illustrated that to you was even I land into these traps very often and then have to figure out where things went wrong. So this detail controller in place there. Now, all our controllers and the um, config is all set up now we can walk down to our uh, menu.html and dishdetail.html and fix them up. In menu.html, I just realized that I typed a capital D there. So that should be a small d, so dish in dishes. With that, let's see what the menu page looks like in our app with this current state. So going to our app, in the browser. Let's check out what the menu display looks like. So this is what we would expect. The menu display is showing a list of um, uh, items there. And then when I click on that, you go to dish details. I haven't fixed up the dish details template yet. Now, same thing on the Android site, the menu should show the list of items. This is exactly the current state of our menu.html page. Let's fix this up. 
so that it displays the image and some details about our dish there. Getting back to menu.html, I'm going to introduce my filter here. Somebody suggested that I should use the filter as category colon filled text. Okay, so we'll do that. And um, also the class as item thumbnail left. Now, we realize that the dish name as it is written here is just going to be displayed as a standard text. So I'm going to use the same technique that I used for displaying the information in the uh, in the card earlier in the in the home.html page. We will use a similar code for displaying the dish details in a bit more elaborate manner. So let me replace that with the correct code and then we'll discuss the entire code. So here I have now replaced the dish na name with the image to display the image of the dish. Remember that I am using the it item thumbnail left class for the ion item here. So this would be displayed on the left side in my uh, list. Then I have an H2 uh, which contains the dish name as such. And then I am using a um, span with font size set to 75% to display the dish. Remember, this is dish.price filtered with currency. So this will display the price in uh, using the currency filter here. So, and then also I have the badge that I am displaying the dish label using the badge badge assertive. Um, in, in Ionic. So with these changes and the description of the dish is down below here in its own P tag here. So with these changes, so you can see that again, let's quickly review the changes that we have made. So we have the Ion content. We have, of course, we have the Ion view, which displays, uh, which um, specifies the entire view for this template. Then inside there, we have an Ion content which specifies the actual content of this page. Then we have an ion list. Ion list, as we uh, realize, is a special uh, list that Ionic supports, which has uh, its own properties. Right now, we will only look at it in its basic form. Later on, we will look at the more advanced features of ion list compared to, th to the standard list that is available in, um, in HTML. Then we have ion item which we are using the ng repeat to repeat the dishes and the, set up the filter here. And then we have the image and uh, the h2 to display the uh, dish name and uh, the dish price and the badge here. Let's look at the result in our application. Now, looking at the resulting uh, menu in our application, we'll see that now the menu is formatted as a list of menu items. So you have uh, the various menu items marked up uh, in, in a much better way here. So you have, since we are using item thumbnail left, so the thumbnail of the um, dish is displayed on the left side. You have the, the dish name displayed here. You have the price displayed here for those um, items that have the label associated so that we are using the badge badge assertive to display the label on the right side. Then the description itself, uh, only a single line description is given here with dot, dot, dot. So um, if I don't say item text wrap, then uh, the only a single line is shown here. This is good enough for displaying the um, the uh, menu items here. Now, when I click on that, obviously I will show the details of the dish. So that is where I will show the more detailed description of each of these dishes. Same thing uh, with uh, Android, you would see that the uh, display is pretty much the same as, as the iOS 
version here. Now, a couple of things that we did with the uh, menu items was that we used the tabs in order to filter and show only those parts that we wanted, um, you know, like uh, filter it using the using the category there. So how do we set up that in our uh, application? So to do that, we, we are going to take the help of the tabs support in Ionic. These are basic tabs that we're going to use for this particular purpose. Ionic has navigation tabs, which are a lot more advanced tabs. They, they use the Ion tabs uh, directive. We are going to explore that later on in the course. Right now, we are going to use the basic tabs in Ionic. Going back to menu.html, here I have set up the basic tabs for helping me to filter uh, the list of dishes in uh, our app. Now, I am using pretty much the same HTML markup that I used in the previous course, where we set up the tabbed uh, uh, filtering for the menu items. So the code is pretty much copy pasted here uh, with a few minor changes. I'm going to walk you through this code to explain what each, each of them are doing. So here on the outside, we have called div, div an outer div that encloses the tabs here. So for the outer div, I am specifying the class as tab striped. You will see why we use this tab stripe in a short while when we look at the result. Then we have tabs color royal. So this is what I am using to define the colors for my tabs. The default is um, uh, black and white. So if I say tabs color royal, then the lettering will be in that uh, that color and the um, the background will be in white color. I can also switch and have the background displayed in darker color with the uh, with the lettering in uh, lighter color. But uh, for this particular app, this looks much better. So that's why I used this approach. Now, so this div and outer div will will specify more details about how the tabs should be styled. So I'm using tab striped and tabs color royal there. Now inside there, I am using a UL with the class tabs. So in, in, in uh, Ionic, you use the class tabs in order to describe the tabs. Now inside this UL, each of these list items is a tab item. So that's why for each of these list items, I am specifying class as tab item. And then inside there, I am using the a ng click select one. So the select is a function that we implemented in the controller. So from the previous course, you have seen the select um, function being implemented in the menu controller. Now the ng class, as you see, the ng class uh, applies the active if the is selected will return a true, otherwise not. So this will decide which particular tab is currently active. So same thing for the second one, uh, mains and deserts. So with this, I introduce the tabbed way of filtering the items. So the result of this will be coming in as the uh, filter uh, value down here in my ng repeat um, option here. Let's go and look at the result and then we'll come back and make further changes. Going back to our app, let's pull up the app uh, and the menu there. You can now see that the menu right now at the bottom, you can see that we have the tabs displayed here. Now, when I use tab striped, what happens is that the tab that is marked as active will have a stripe on top and the lettering is darker in color. The remaining tabs are currently not active, so that's why they have a more um, lighter lettering for them. Now, I can easily switch tabs. So, for example, if I click on the appetizers, you can immediately see that the filter kicks in and then uh, shows only those 
um, menu items that fit the category of appetizers. Same thing with the mains and the dessert. So uh, using the tabs, I am now able to do the filtering, just like what we did in the previous course. Now, this tab setup is a much better way of doing this on your mobile device. You have seen that on mobile devices, when you use mobile applications, when they have tab setup, something like this is usually set up in your um, apps. Let's look at the Android version of this. Same thing. You see the tabs at the bottom, and they do exactly the same functionality as we would expect. Okay, so this completes our work on the menu.html page. Now, when I click on a menu item, I'll go into the details of the dish. We haven't fixed this yet. So that is what we will do in the next part of this exercise. So we'll fix up the dish detail.html template to display the details of our dish. Now, I have the dish details um, template open here. Now, in the dish details template, I'm going to go in and then replace that H1 with a cart uh, for displaying the details of the dish. Remember that when we designed the home.html, we already used the card in order to display the details of the dish. I'm going to use this similar approach even for my menu with a few minor changes. I'm going to point that out in a short while. So this code that I'm using in the card looks very familiar to you because this is what we did also in the home.html, except for some minor changes which I'm going to point out in a short while. Now, before I point out the changes, maybe we, we may wish to go and have a look at how the dish details are being displayed in our app. Going back to our app, let's pull up the menu now and you see the menu items. Let's click on one of the menu items and then see the resulting display of the details of the dish. So you see that we are using a card here, but uh, we don't have the item divider on top uh, there. Instead, we just have the, uh, the image being displayed here and the details of the image at the bottom. This is a much better way of displaying the details of the dish. Now on the Android side, let me pull up another dish so that you can see what it looks like. So this is how the details of the dish are shown uh, by using the card there. Let's go back and review the code. Now going back to the dish detail.html page, you can see that inside the ion content, I am using a div with the class card. So obviously this is a card display. And inside that, I only have a single div with the class item. So I don't have an item divider anymore. I don't need a header. Instead, I am just using an item with an item body and item text wrap. Now, see the distinction between this one and the way the menu is uh, uh, constructed. So in the uh, menu list, you saw that we didn't use the item text wrap. So only a single line of the description was being shown in the menu item. And then it was cut off at that point. But here, when I say item text wrap, the text will wrap around and fill and the entire text in the P tag will be shown in the card here. So that's the reason why I'm using item text wrap and item body. Now the image itself, note for the image, I am specifying the class as full image. So when I specify the class as full image, now this image will occupy the entire width and then stretch to fill the entire width of the screen. So that's the reason why I'm able to show the image in a much larger size. And of course, the ng SRC just like before. And these other things to display the dish price and the, and the dish label we have already seen before. And the dish description uh, using the p tag here. So these things we have seen in the previous exercises. So they are not that much 
different there. So this is what results in our dish being displayed in the card for the dish details as we have seen earlier. What's still missing? You remember that we had a list of comments being displayed below the dish description in our Angular application. We're going to do the same thing here. Now, we could pretty much take the code from the Angular and then paste it in here and it'll pretty much still work in a similar manner. Let me paste in the code and then we'll walk you through the code to make you understand how we're going to construct the list of comments. Getting back to dishdetail.html, you now see that I have introduced another div here with a class row. From Bootstrap, you're already beginning to question me, what does class row do in Ionic? Ionic also has a grid, as we saw in the lecture. So that's what we are applying here in order to show the list of comments. So I am using the class as row here. So inside the class row, I would have a div with the class columns. Now, the Ionic's way of specifying columns, as we learned, is different. So in this case, for the div class, I am applying call, which means that it will occupy um, as much space horizontally as possible in the uh, container uh, item there. And then I am applying a call offset 10. Now, in case of Ionic, as we saw, we specify this as a percentage value. So when I say call offset 10, the this particular column is going to be offset by 10% from the left edge. So this is what I am using to display the lists. Now, inside of there, I am specifying the customer comments. And then uh, I am specifying uh, the UL list with the list ng repeat comment and comments order by text. And then I'm using a block quote to display the comments, comments.rating, comments.comment, and the footer where I display the comments author and the date. So we have done this as part of uh, the previous course. So I am basically using the same code here in order to display the list of comments here. Now with this, let me go ahead and make the changes and then let's go and have a look at the dish details page to see how the comments are being displayed in our application. Going back to our application, let's take a look at the menu one more time. And from the menu, let's walk down to the dish details. So you, here we have the dish details. So we had the card that we had already created earlier. Now below the card, you can see the customer comments being displayed. So you can see that using the call, I was able to displace this to the right by about 10% from the left edge of the screen. Now, using call offset 10. Now, the customer comments, as you see, each of them is enclosed inside a block quote and uh, the stars and the name of the author being displayed here. We have an input text box there, which is not very clear to you, but actually we can do the uh, reordering by typing in information there. And then, uh, so the same behavior that you had seen in the previous course still persists in this case. Now, what if we wish to add our own comments? We need the support of a form. We're going to explore that in the next lesson. In this exercise, we have explored the use of ion list briefly, and we also saw how we can use the ng repeat to construct a list of menu items. We also saw the use of dish detail, and we saw how we can display the information about the dish in a card. We also were able to display the comments. Along the way, we learned about Ionic's grid and how we can use the row and column classes of the Ionic grid.